Oh my god, I just woke up. Look at me. Hey, it's Ken, the King for Mayor, and doing a YouTube video, which I haven't done in a while, because, man, I've been busy as shit. I got this farm here that I'm, I'm, I'm building and shit, and it's been taking up all my time, that and working to get money to build the farm. So I watched a movie last night, and um, snatched. It may be reversed, but it's snatched. And it's got Amy Schuber and Goldie Hawn. I've been meaning to watch this movie for a while because the previews looked funny. Um, I'm not a huge Amy Schumer fan, so it's kind of the reason why I've been putting it off. But I am a, a big Goldie Hawn fan. Um, and it was funny. It was good. It wasn't the best movie in the world. It was uh, extremely predictable, but... I mean, it was a good 90 minutes. I laughed out loud several times. Um, very enjoyable movie. Um, and then I got to the end, and it said, produced by, uh, I'm probably going to say his name wrong, Paul Paul Feige, uh, Feige, Feige, whatever, uh, which made me start thinking about Ghostbusters 2016 which uh, I hated. This wasn't directed by him, by him. It was produced, snatched. It was produced by him, not directed by him. Um, so that's probably why this movie was good. And 2016 Ghostbusters was not good. Um, and, and before we go any further, let me say this is nothing against women. Have all the lady Ghostbusters you want. Before I saw 2016, I was on like the, oh, you're all... You're all fucking racist, blah, blah, blah. What's wrong with having Lady Ghostbusters, la, la, la. You guys are all sexist. I was on that side. And then I saw the movie, and it was terrible. It was awful. Um, it had potential. It had huge amounts of potential. But it just, it was poorly, uh, just poorly written, poorly edited, and, um, yeah, those two things, like, I can, I can stand bad cinematography, I mean, who doesn't like good, good cinematography, it's always better than bad cinematography, but I watch movies with bad cinematography that were well written and well edited, and I like them, um, I watch movies with bad actors, I, I, terrible, terrible fucking actors, I mean, we're talking some of the worst actors in the world, and it was still a good movie because it was well written and well edited. The story was solid. Um, 2016 was like a Saturday Night Live parody of a Ghostbusters movie. And when I say that, what I mean is it the original Ghostbusters was a comedy, but very little of the focus was on the comedy. Most of it was on the plot. You have these little moments that were, oh, that, that's funny, you know. But, um, but for the most part, it was it was just a regular old monster movie um, that just happened to have some funny people in it, and it, so therefore, little things came out across as funny, little bits of humor. You want that in any movie. Any movie should have little bits of humor in it. But they wanted to go all-out comedy in Ghostbusters 2016. I know, you're like, oh, that was like eight years ago, six years ago, whatever. Why are you still going on about this? Because I'm upset because it could have been better, all right? And it was a very easy fix. It was a very easy fix. And I'm not going to go through the whole movie. I'm just going to talk about one thing. One thing in 2016. 16 Ghostbusters, and that's the wonton soup joke, okay? The wan, what's this on my camera? The wonton soup joke. All right, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go outside and have a cigarette. I'm going to tell you why the 2016 wonton soup joke could have been so much funnier than it would was, all right? And when I'm done telling you, if you don't agree with me, I want you to put in the comments below why you don't agree with me. And if you do agree with me, I want you to I want you to subscribe and maybe even ring that bell. 
and then I might make more videos because I haven't made videos in a while. All right, so 2016 wonton soup. Now, I've seen interviews with them talking about this wonton soup thing. And they say, oh, the rule of threes, the rule of threes. Okay, listen. Comedy. Okay. Things that are funny come in threes. Yes, this is true. But they don't always come in threes. They can come in twos or ones. Um... And having something happen three times does not necessarily make it funny. It just makes it happen three times. Um, the rule of threes in comedies works like this. Okay. Establish. Reestablish. Joke. Okay. That's, that's how it works. Establish. Reestablish. Joke. Okay. So what they had is her yelling at the takeout guy three times about wontons and then they blew up his bike in the alley his delivery bike um and that's i don't know Car karma he's he's the delivery guy he didn't make the soup that's not karma that's not funny you're just you're just ruining this guy's livelihood with something he's got nothing to do with he doesn't make the soup he just delivers the soup She's yelling at this delivery guy about the soup when she should be yelling at the manager who is in the restaurant right downstairs. All she has to do is walk down a flight of stairs and yell at the manager, okay? So this is how, how, how you've seen a movie. You know how, how it goes, and it's not funny. I'm not going to tell you how it goes. You know it. I'm going to tell you how it should have gone, all right? So first scene, Okay. Ding dong. The door. It's a delivery guy. She goes. She gra she takes the order. She gives him money. She pulls out the soup. It's got the one wonton floating in the soup. What the hell is this? There's only one wonton in here. He's like, it's wonton soup. There's only one wonton in here. That's it. Quick. Not even a second. Maybe two, three seconds tops. Just enough. Point at, show the soup, point at it, say, look, one wonton. What the hell is this? They call this wonton soup. Cut away to the other Ghostbusters talking about the other thing. You can hear them arguing in the background, but you don't really uh, hear what they're saying. Okay, that's not the focus. Just established it. Go back. Don't go back to that conversation. That's what they did in the movie. They went back, they went back and forth between the two... The, the, the plot and her talking about wontons. Don't do that. Just establish, establish wonton soup is no good from the restaurant downstairs. That's all you need to know. That's you're establishing it, okay? Next, then they keep doing that same bit over and over again. Instead, next time, you don't even have the delivery driver, right? Somebody else has gotten the, the order, and they sit down at the table, pull out the soup. Oh my God, I can't believe it. They... They, they jip me on the wontons again, or whatever politically correct term you would use for that. Oh, they screwed me on the wontons again. Um, you know, pulls out the soup. It's got the one wonton floating in it. That's it. That's all you need. Boom. You don't even need the delivery driver or any of that shit anymore, okay? You're establishing soup is bad. Got it. Reestablish. Boom. Later in the movie... Delivery driver comes up to the door, hands her the bag, she pulls out the soup, one wonton in again, what is with this, I, that's it, I'm going downstairs, I'm going to talk to the manager, which, you know, which we're all like, oh, that's what she should have done in the beginning, right, she pushes, you know, she takes the soup, takes the rest of the bag, shoves it in the delivery driver's hand, pushes him to the side, marches down the stairs, into the restaurant, right, Goes up to the counter. What the hell is with this soup? She slams the, the, the soup down on the counter. What is with this soup? And the manager's like, it's wonton soup. She's like, wonton soup? There's only one wonton in here, right? And, you know, you have all the other people in the restaurant. They're eating and they're looking over. And the manager goes, 
it's it's wonton soup. Wonton soup, not wontons soup. You want wontons? Order wontons. It's on the menu. We have wontons. This is wonton soup. One wonton. One wonton. Wonton soup. Right? And they're going back and forth on this, right? Meanwhile, we cut to the exterior of the alley. And there's a bunch of cardboard boxes, and the wind blows them aside. And we see on the side of the wall, there's a ghost device, right? The, the thing the bad guy has to make ghosts appear. And he's planted it on the side of the building with a Chinese restaurant in the Ghostbusters headquarters. And it starts crackling with electricity. You know, right? We know what that is. We know what's going to happen now. We're anticipating. We've created suspense, right? They're arguing about these wontons. And let's go back inside. We're arguing about the wontons. And then you see, there's they got like a uh, bu buffet. It's like Chinese buffet, right? And you see the the buffet table, and there's a, a pan of frog legs, right? And the guy puts a frog legs on his on his on his plate, and then all of a sudden the frog legs start hopping around. They're hopping, hopping, hopping around, and the guy's like, "What the hell?" And then the 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 frog legs that are on his plate. They start hopping, they hop back into the tray with the other frog legs, and he just puts his dish down and starts backing up, right? And then all of a sudden, they're arguing again, and then you see the the the, the ducks in the windows, their heads start, and they start quacking, quack, 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 release the quacking, quack, 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 all these ducks are quacking in the window, and then the manager and, 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 uh, Jenna McCarthy, they turn around and they see all these ducks quacking in the window, right? It totally breaks their, their argument. And they're like, what the hell? Right. And then back outside, you know, maybe, uh, there's like a pig, like, or inside, inside in the, in the kitchen, there's a pig. It's being chopped up and it's like half at like a half pig corpse. And it's start, you know, right? And we're like, whoa, whoa, what's going on, right? And then back outside, big bursts of electricity from the generator. And inside, we see some kind of ghost appear, some kind of Chinese themed ghost, like a Chinese dragon or a foo dog or something. I don't know. Some kind of Chinese ghost appears and comes out of a statue or something and starts going around the restaurant and all the patrons are screaming and yelling, hiding under the, the tables. And Janet McCarthy's like, hold on, I got this. Like pushing the manager back. Hold on, I got this. Right. And she goes up to the ghost and she's like, Hey, you, Hey, you get out of my Chinese restaurant. And this is important. This is important, right? Cause this, this is, this is where we establish character right character is so important in movies we established that she's not just some some karen some white woman complaining about her food to some some uh minority group right all right she she this is her neighborhood these are her people and she might get mad at them but they're her people right this is her block and she and it's her restaurant. And she's going to defend them, right? But of course, she doesn't have any of her Ghostbuster gear on her, right? So the ghost is like, "All right, fine, let's go." And ghost goes straight at her, and she's like, "Ah, I don't got this!" And she fucking jumps down and hides. And ghost is going all over the place. And uh, that's when the other Ghostbusters come down from downstairs with their proton packs, right? With their proton packs, and they're like. Hey, you mess with one Ghostbuster, you mess with them all. <laughs> Protons going off. <laughs> you know, trays of food exploding, people getting meat on them, tables, china, you know, plates and shit shattering, flying all over the place. <laughs> right? They fucking catch the ghost in the trap. This is like a callback to uh, the first one in the hotel scene. Catch the ghost in the trap. Destroy half the place with the proton packs. 
they walk up to the to to the the manager afterwards. You know, they got the the smoking trap, and, and they're like, and she's like, so about that wonton soup. Now it's funny. Uh, so after all that, she's still on about the wontons. Now about that wonton soup. And then the manager goes and gets like the biggest soup container he has. And he's filling it up with all these wontons and hands it to her. And it's just like all wontons, right? Hands it to her. And she takes it and she looks at it, right? And she goes, well, now there's not enough soup. And that's a fucking joke, okay? That's how you do the wonton soup joke properly. That's funny. Yelling at some delivery guy is not funny. That's just being mean to poor people, okay? <sighs> and that's how you do the wonton soup joke.